Great, tonight we have a firm that our team in the Robotics entitled RoboKit. First lesson we will study Python. We will study functions and capabilities of open we like uh, detecting ball by color. Later our robots arrived to us and we started to build them. We changed the robot server for a better one and also changed their plastic details. Uh, after assembly we taught the robot to come to the ball and kick it. Robots use their camera to detect the ball. Uh, then, the built-in microcontroller Conda was responsible for the movements of the robots. My задача это алгоритм нахождения мяча на поле. В прошлом алгоритме у нас были недостатки, так как робот видел мяч в любом предмете круглой формы оранжевого цвета, например, апельсин. В новом алгоритме мы добавили специальные прямоугольники, которые обрисовывают квадрат. И в случае, если камера видит хотя бы в одном из этих прямоугольников зеленый, зеленый пингмент, тогда считает, что это что мяч на поле. Если же нет, она принимает этот заложенный объект и игнорирует его. On the RoboCup Asia Pacific 2019 competition, our robots walked slowly and used really bad stretchy of approach to the ball. The main factor that was affecting to the speed were little steps near the ball. Uh, the robot didn't reach its destination for the first time, so it went on and on in small pieces. We decided to remake the algorithm of choosing the type of walking and approaching to the ball. Now the robot must uh, configure his course to the ball, calculate the quantity of full and little remaining steps. Uh, finally, soccer walks full and then little steps and at the end tunes to the angle on which the robot must be tuned near the ball. Uh, thanks for that, our robots began to walk much faster and the accuracy of the kicks didn't suffer. The main advantage of new algorithm is that the player doesn't make a large number of small steps near the ball. My task is a goalkeeper gameplay. I must write the optimal actions of the goalkeeper in various situated on the field. To do this, I divided part of uh, the field into eight sectors. And when the ball is one of these sectors, the robot must perform special actions to protect the gate. Uh, if the ball moves towards the goal at uh, high speed, the robot uh, falls into the twin. The uh, robot doesn't, uh, does the same when it spots the ball during a penalty kick. When actions uh, are better, since the time spent on uh, protecting the gate is much less than uh, in the old program and the robot doesn't uh, have to fall into the twin every time and the uh, effectiveness of uh, protection increases. Here we have uh, uh, our robot, which is uh, um, with open backpack. In uh, backpack, uh, we have uh, electronics, uh, which stands for um, uh, management uh, of servo motors. And uh, in the head part, we have uh, other electronics, uh, which stands for general computation and uh, 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 sensor for the uh, uh, IMU sensor. Um, uh, so uh, in head part, we have um, uh, OpenMV PCB, uh, uh, which is uh, in, uh, uh, in middle of the head. Also we have uh, uh, red PCB, uh, this is IMU, this is digital accelerometer. White PCB is uh, a custom-made PCB by ourselves, which uh, stands for communication between OpenMV and uh, uh, Conda controller. Uh, a green PCB stands for uh, USB Type-C uh, communication uh, for convenience. Also, you, you see that we have uh, four buttons. Uh, one button is used for uh, um, uh, reboot of the uh, uh, central uh, uh, um, uh, controller and three buttons are programmable buttons.